old-timey ninja movie-style logos are hopefully not racist. Kid wanders into a magical shop cliché. The giant taxidermied bird in this hate mask would be enough to send any non-movie child running immediately. <laughs> this kid is a dick to Asian antiquaries. F***ing kids, man. Why don't you pay outside with your friends? Agreed. Movie over. Sometimes they make fun of me. That's what friends do, kid. Haven't you ever seen Knocked Up? Is that real? Yes, it's real. Everything here is real. Is that real? Jesus, kid, he just answered your goddamn question. Listening might actually help in your pursuit of friends. Slide a hand this good just after saying everything here is real. Also, nice gift, assuming the kid wants his figure to be a ninja. What if he was hoping for a fireman, or a banker, or an instructions following construction worker turned master builder named Emmett? This is his teacher. How does Jackie Chan have Lloyd's teacher? He didn't even have Lloyd until the kid brought him in a few minutes ago. Also, this scene contains no mogwai. Have you ever heard the legend behind the legend of a Ninjago? No shit. The subtitles for this movie, the f***ing subtitles, have a registered trademark icon after the word Ninjago. I took a screenshot and everything. Also, legend behind the legend? We haven't even heard the first legend. Did we have to do research before we watched this shit? This is worse than a Marvel movie, expecting us to have watched half a season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. before seeing Captain America Winter Soldier. Who is this f***ing kid? Where did he come from? Does he have parents? Siblings? I mean, if you feel the need to give me a human live-action opening to justify your animated Lego movie, at least give me something. This is literally just kid wanders into a store, two minutes later creepy guys telling a story. Also, this is The Princess Bride, The Page Master, The Lego Movie, and somehow there's still 98 minutes to go. Clean news team watching Garmadon's volcanic lair 24 hours a day, this is... Good morning, Ninjago! Oh, I just had a seizure and I'm not even epileptic. Jesus, I need a young priest and an old priest. Yeah, don't you dare come out, at least until our secret ninja force steps in. If they're filmed and in downtown streets and on the fucking morning news, do we really need to waste syllables on the word secret? Um, awesome! How does the news have footage from inside the cockpit of the ninja robot? And why is a ninja piloting a robot instead of being a ninja? Exactly how Power Rangers is this thing, anyway? Earth Ninja! And these freeze-frame, over-animated character naming screens are getting really f***ing old. Not all movies are Deadpool or even Suicide Squad. Just stop. Water Ninja! Sure, why not? Let's throw an Avatar of the Last Airbender into the rip-off stew. At this point, only five minutes in, mind you, the flavors are already so congealed that new ingredients won't really make a noticeable impact. You fellas need to inform yourselves of where we're at culturally. Going to go out on a limb and say this movie will not be anywhere close to the definition of culturally sensitive, so this seems like the pot calling the kettle a lot of culturally insensitive things. This shop has at least five vertically mounted TVs in its display window. <laughs> Look, if you're this unpopular because your dad's a villain, why not just homeschool, eh? Or not school at all. I mean, how rewarding can this kid's life in public school be? Even the girl with dental headgear is mocking this dude. That's not real life. And I say that as someone who wore dental headgear like this to school. This wild style 2.0 character introduction takes about five seconds too long. And it only takes about eight seconds in total. She rides a motorcycle, she's crazy. Got it. Garma dork and the dork squad. Said the male cheerleader wearing pink pom-poms on his hands, but whatever. Hey, Booloy! 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 And straight in at number one with a bullet. It's Boo Lloyd! That cheer the bully did in the hallway is playing on the radio. Just FYI. I know, I know, that's the joke, but come on, man. What's my name? Dermatom! Movie shows me three puke then say the villain's name shots in succession. And well, I have rules about that. Movie just earned five sins at once. Uh oh. Okay, this is pretty funny, but also, like, again, to beat a dead horse, why does Lloyd even keep coming to this school? How is he this hated and taunted, but not one person has beat him up yet? I wasn't remotely this hated, but even I got beat up in school. So what happens if they ever get assigned new lockers, or when they eventually graduate? Ninja Team, shout out your call sign! For the benefit of the viewing audience alone, as we all clearly already know each other's call signs. As long as we have these mechs, we're unstoppable! I smell foreshadowing, and burning. Also, this hangar appears to be above ground, so why would they have to descend in the lockers? Go ninjas go. go, ninjas, go! Is that how they got their name? The Ninjago name? If so, why do they pronounce it Ninjago instead of Ninja Go? These ninjas seem to be causing as much destruction, if not more, than Garmadon's crew. Kai, Zane, and Cole, you guys take downtown! Pretty good chance no one else can hear Lloyd, but if you're trying to keep your identities a secret, why wouldn't Lloyd just use the ninja code names when he's barking orders at them? Headmaster. Other headmaster. Backup headmaster. <laughs> okay. You got a laugh out of me, movie. Enjoy your sin reduction. <laughs> Repetition equals laugh sex Wilhelm. Just one day to retire. Guy has one day till retirement, mentions it, and dies, cliche. You know what's funny? 
Is that I know how to do all those things. Do you? Yeah. Oh, good to know. Lloyd's lack of a father comments and Garmadon coming close to admitting to it but always referring to something else happens a lot and tires out very quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and tack on 20 cents. I'm not certain we did that. I was being sarcastic! Boy, Garmadon sure seems like Lord Business painted all black, doesn't he? It's okay, Lloyd. Nobody's parents are perfect. Tell that to Kim Kardashian. We'll never truly defeat Garmadon until you see things from a different point of view. Gee, thanks, Oracle Yoda Sensei, Dustin Hoffman, Rat, Morpheus, Obi-Wan, and Gandalf. Your core signs are not just cool names. They are the elemental powers you were all born with. Like the element of green. Also, doesn't it seem like you should have told us a long time ago, as opposed to some kind of new point of view? I'm trying not to freak out right now, but I've called 18 people and I cannot locate my son. Did you call his uncle? Because he was just with him. For some reason, while worrying about her son, this woman has poured two bowls of cereal and stacked them on top of each other. I'm even overlooking the second clear shot of cornflakes in this movie because the stack bowls is way weirder. This didn't work the last time when Garmadon wasn't in this giant Voltron thing, so why the hell does Lloyd think it'll work this time? He throws the pesky green ninja and its dragon into the bay instead of, you know, ripping off heads and shit that would prevent a rematch. Michael Strahan is easily the creepiest Lego creation for any of these movies. It looks like his scalp was removed and reattached by Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Lego shark projectiles rip off the seagulls from Finding Nemo. How did the sharks get in the elevator? Did Garmadon shoot some in there before going around to the other side of the building, knowing the people in the office would take this route? Seems pretty over the top for some random office full of random people. Ah, just walking the top. His mech control movements are way too fast for how slow the actual mech is moving. Are you crossing your fingers? That's physically impossible. Like, how can I be crossing my fingers? I have these things. Garmadon brings up a good point. How would Lloyd even know what fingers are? That shouldn't even be in the Lego lexicon. Also, Garmadon would be excellent at cinema sins. Okay, so the ultimate weapon being a laser pointer that does nothing, then turning out to be just a lure for a cat who is the real weapon? Hilarious. Once in removed. But also, isn't this a Lego acted out story being told to the kid by Jackie Chan? This isn't the kid's imagination like the first Lego movie, where a real world cat playing a role might make sense. I'm just saying, if there were a real world cat on this Lego set chasing a red laser pointer, he would definitely chase this tiny parachuting guy too. The laser pointer joke was good, but those aren't the only things that cats chase. Garmadon seems like a pretty sweet target where he is currently. Why wouldn't the ninjas regroup, jump in one of the flying contraptions, and blow his ass out of the sky? I've always tried to get Lloyd to see that he shouldn't be ashamed of who his father is. Why? His father is the worst person alive in this universe. Why would you spend years trying to tell Lloyd to accept his father's identity? You're a terrible mother! Her reign of terror will stretch on and on until all of Ninjago is her own personal litter box. This cat is not going to sh on the Legos. And turning on the laser pointer should not have awakened the cat. Like, the cat supposedly never jumps up here and wrecks unless there's a laser pointer involved? This movie has never catted before. One thing that can drive Meowthra away. The ultimate, ultimate weapon. God damn it. Not sure what I just saw, but I'm ready to kill the Malaysian Prime Minister at my next fashion show. Students, are you willing to give Lloyd a second chance? Not saying Lloyd didn't let emotions get to him and whatnot, but he's not exactly to blame here. The entire city knows Garmadon is going to attack frequently, and no one else has ever come up with anything better. So at least Lloyd's f***ing trying something. Okay, yes, he's playing Welcome to the Jungle, but still, fluting while traveling. And when you could really make use of a non-fluting walking stick. You are all terrible ninjas. I would take care of Garmadon on my own. But are they terrible? They've thwarted Garmadon's plans tons of times. And Wu was on f***ing vacation during the first big battle. Where are your little ninja... ninja nerd? Where are your little ninja nerds? Nailed it. Now you're stealing Batman's jokes from your own Lego franchise movies. Ah! Looks like you need a lesson in learning how to shot your stupid face. This movie has stealthily gone from not as good as the other two Lego movies to genuinely boring in lightning quick time. I haven't written any sins for the last three minutes of the movie because this shit is just bland. It's just not fun or interesting or notable. It merely is. All I can remember is we really need a ninja master. And you are not a ninja master. Lloyd's friends are dick to Lloyd, and they're also really stupid. I look like I'm making out with two people, don't I? Yes, one of whom is apparently blowing you, kids movie villain. We should be practicing silence right now. This probably should have happened in the writer's room more often as well. This is my least favorite place I've ever been in. Well, you chose the path taking advice of a supervillain over that of your friend, so deal. Against all common sense, these idiot ninja students bring a captured, incapacitated Garmadon with them because they believe they need a ninja master in order to complete the quest to the ultimate, ultimate weapon, which they want to use to stop Garmadon, the guy they just made their master and already have captured. Do I have that right? Jesus on a cracker. What do we do? We're worthless without our max! Then why the hell did you run into the middle of a battle with undead generals? We are going to kill them! Oops, we shouldn't have said that! You know, the real problem with this movie versus the other two big-screen Lego movies is that it tries so very f***ing hard to be funny, and it's not. 
Sure, the other two were broad and at times very on the nose, but most of those jokes hit. In this one, practically none of them do. The 15 million Kelvin magma will melt your skin before you can even feel the heat. That's gruesome, especially so for the eight-year-olds in the audience. Jesus. Also, Kelvin scale. Wait, what? Why did they let the other ninjas live? At the very least, they could have taken them as prisoner, right? We just gotta figure out how to be real ninjas. Sounds easy. Wait, Zane, don't you have like 700 gigabytes of martial arts movies on your hard drive? I'm not even sure how this would help them, but still, convenient thought process is so convenient. I guess this montage of kung fu movies is supposed to be funny, but the idea is literally that the robot ninja has these movies in his memory, and they use them to learn ninja shit. But is he just showing them short clips and announcing the titles like we see? Or are they watching the entire films? Or are they getting it through osmosis or something? Like Neo in the Matrix? I realize this movie is silly on purpose, but it's honestly just too damn silly. Let's get out of here and make it to the ultimate, ultimate weapon. That's not Why do you still need the weapon? Meowthra has either moved on or destroyed Ninjago by now, and you've got Garmadon trapped on the precipice of a volcano. Just push his ass ever so gently into the night and be done with it. Lloyd, I need a two by two! Here it comes! Everyone knew he couldn't throw, so giving Lloyd this job makes zero sense. Please not Jim Croce, please not Jim Croce. Ah, jinxed us. Whatever. This must have been real exciting for all the five-year-old Jim Croce fans. I'm gonna teach you how to throw! Yep, literally pausing in the middle of a huge battle to go play catch and father-son bond, so they can come back and throw bricks and be helpful to the others. Not sure if this was the point or not, but this entry into the franchise feels the most like you're just watching some kid play a Lego video game. I have no arm! Why are you all disgusted with this? You already did the foot stuck to the head joke and clearly understand how Legos work. Find the arm, plug it back in, move on with your life. There's not even any blood. But if I ever see that goat again, he and I are gonna have words. And you could bet some of those words are gonna have four letters. Substitute movie for goat and you sum up my feelings right now. It was love at first. Don't say fight, don't say fight. Fight. God damn it. People would never see me as a hero. But it doesn't have to be this way. Actually, it does, and Garmadon is right. He's tried to destroy Ninjago how many times now? We're like the Harlem Globetrotters. I'd say more like the Washington Generals. What door only locks from the outside? The helicopter that stopped working and crashed now miraculously works again. That's the boom! You're alive! He was alive when you last saw him. Sure, he was floating down a river, but no reason to assume that definitely equals death. Some powers are ones you cannot see, but those are the most important powers of all. But Lloyd still has no powers, so the other ninjas who now have powers could just leave him behind, as they should, and do their own thing. All Lloyd managed to do was save Garmadon, who everyone wanted dead, and rightfully so. Where I belong, cause I found my place, I found my Nothing says ninjas like a horrible pop song from the fold. Who wants a taco? <laughs> I don't know you, man. I'm not here for you. Let's not do this. You know what to do. Duck and cover. Time to duck and cover. The bombs are coming down. A radiation shower will pour throughout your town. Hold up. We got it now. This is the end. Well, that's not an, even a real fish. No, that's a goldfish cracker. Just one day to retire. I'm too old for this. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. It, it looks like my left arm, except it's the right one. Oh, I've lost a shoe. I've seen it anywhere. It's like this one, but you know, obviously it's the opposite. Boy! We found the ultimate, ultimate weapon! Stand with Slim Jim!